Okay, you guys, I recently went to Camp Horror at Slashback Video at the Mystic Museum, and uh, I loved it, so I had to make a video on it. There's Evil Ed from Evil Dead 2. Um, we have Cropsy from The Burning. Here's the exterior of the store. Some random big gargoyle. Maybe it's from something. I don't recognize it. They had so many cool things here. I could stay in here for hours. Kind of wanted those Michael socks. His jaws. And that Living Dead hat was pretty dope, actually. No Spra, two jaws. Uh, Hannibal Lecter, that was tempting. They live. We're kind of living. They live now. Aliens, of course. Arguably as good as the original. It's Jason. American Werewolf. This was a art card or something. I thought it was a comic originally, but... Yeah, they had some pretty cool stuff. I tried to document just about every inch. That was a uh, Wes Craven's new nightmare, Freddy Mask. I actually owned that at one point. And these, apparently, if you fill them with water, they turn blood red. We got Jason. I know everybody says it's mama, but I hear ch ch ch. So I'm sticking with that. Cropsy again. He was too good. I had to get a close up. A bunch of Freddy stuff. Uh, I don't know if this stuff was for sale or if it was just a display. But a lot of the stuff here was pretty overpriced. I'm not gonna lie. It was still cool. Oh, Goosebumps Haunted Mask. I think it was a blanket. Return of the Living Dead. Those uh, counselor baseball tees were cool. And this always reminds me of Zoltar from Big, the Tom Hanks movie. We had the Crypt Keeper up there. Now this is right at the entrance of Slashback Video. Like, you pass through some doors and this is the first thing you see. It's a Halloween, Leprechaun, Nightmare on Elm Street. Love the VHS on it. Frankenstein's monster. I almost said Frankenstein's. Frankenstein's monster. There's a new nightmare bust. I actually had this skateboard when I was little. It's called Nightmare Skateboard, I believe. That's the brand name. Crypt Keeper. I just recently went through the whole Tales from the Crypt series again, and that is one of the best shows. I grew up with it, so I'm a little biased, but it's great. What do you think of the current Creep show um, on Shudder? I think it's has some good moments. That's the um, the girlfriend from what's it from Dead Meat, the Kill Count YouTube videos. See old Freddy. I think there was autographed. Don't go to hell. Oh no. And that's actually the entrance, the official entrance into the slashback video. Oh, that was Tina uh, autographed that. I actually met Tina at a screening night on Elm Street. Heather Lane Camp was there as well. I think it was Beers for Beers. It was a pretty fun night. Apparently, it was the First time they'd watched the film from beginning to end uh, in like 20 years. We had The Shining up there. Oh, Trilogy of Terror. I loved that. That was like the scariest movie to me when I was little. Try to pause on some things that I find interesting or horror movies I really love. There's Jason. I love this. I remember seeing those type of displays in the... Um, Video stores from where I grew up. Of course, the Freddy. And more Freddy. Goosebumps. Um, 
I love the art. I went back and revisited some Goosebumps recently, and the prose is not the best, but the concepts are there. Oh, the Friday the 13th collection here. I'm really a fan of Five. I know not everybody loves it, but I think it's one of the better installments in the franchise. Part 3 is great, too. A little close-up of Part 3. Some people think it's gimmicky, but... You know, I think it kind of works. Nightmare on Elm Street 2, underrated sequel. It was uh, the school where it was shot. Um, it's right down the street from me, so... I visit there whenever I can. It's a cool hunt. I don't know if you could play that game or not. I should have tried. Some laser disc. That Halloween 2 art is pretty dope. Carrie, another classic. Changeling, I just revisited not too long ago. And that is a well crafted movie. The cinematography, the editing. Pretty creepy. And I love this Halloween art. I'd never seen this art. I was never huge into Laserdisc. I think that was just a little bit before my time. Yeah, the front of this is... I really like the design. The art in this is cool. The Shining, of course. You had to get a close-up of that. One of the all-time greats. And another all-time great, just back-to-back. -back. I think they're two of the most perfect horror films probably ever made. Cat's Eye, I grew up with that one, the little gremlin at the end. And the uh, segment with James Woods. That's, that's a good one. I knew it had to be here. Magic. Great trailer for Magic. You gotta YouTube that if you get a chance. There's another shot. I love the design of the key videos with the little rainbow on the side. The Haunting. One of the great supernatural gothic horror films. Really effective to this day. There's another cat's eye, different design. Evil Dead 2. What do you prefer? Evil Dead 1 or Evil Dead 2? I, I have a hard time deciding. The magic. I'd never seen this. I want to track that one down. The Manson one. There's Tales from the Crypt again. I mean, that's the best host of a TV show of all time, isn't it? I don't think the Crypt Keeper can be beaten. Oh, the nostalgia. Love me some BHS. My collection isn't too big, but I plan on growing it. Some more Tales from the Crypt. Silence of the Lambs. That's a top five for, for me, for sure. Hills Have Eyes, Early Craven. Um, I like it as much as I like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm not going to lie, I think it's a really, really solid film. Halloween, three different versions of it. And Halloween H2O is another underrated one. I think it's probably my second favorite in the franchise after the original. Another Shining. And of course I had to get Nightmare on Elm Street, I just grew up with the whole series. Love 3, Love New Nightmare. And Thriller. This was um, a huge one for a lot of people who wanted to be directors. Like, it really showed you the behind the scenes, and it was intricate in its detail. And I think John Landis was really talented, and so was Michael Jackson, of course. I, I think Thriller is my favorite Michael Jackson song and my favorite video. 
Might be my favorite video, period. Oh, these are cool. A hereditary VHS. That's one of the best horror films in recent years, for sure. I wasn't sure what to think of it. And neither was the person I went with. Uh, we were both like, what did we just watch? But watched it again, and it was one of those that grows on you with the second viewing. Shutter Island's that way, too. Uh, I wish this existed. What was it, Nightmare on Elm Street 8? One of the early Halloween releases. I'm not sure if that was the meta or the media release. The meta would have um, predated it, if I'm pronouncing it right, I don't know. These are all so cool, though. I remember seeing some of this stuff whenever I was a little kid. All this Nightmare on Elm Street merch. It's a really cool design, whatever their character's name is. It's another, I think it's Cropsy again. And then the Halloween house. I remember these old Fangori magazines too. I'd flip through these all the time as a little kid. There's uh, Roy. There's me. <laughs> There's Roy from um, Friday the 13th Part 5. Yeah, I really tried to get every inch of the place. Yeah, this place is, like, exactly in my wheelhouse. Just my kind of thing, so I don't know what took me so long. My friends were going, oh, there's the Crypt Keeper. Can't get enough of him. He gets really funny in the fourth and fifth seasons, too. The character just got better and better. That's the shot. That's the thumbnail, right? think so. That's a cool mask. They can never really get the accurate Crypt Keeper, though, because he was just so gaunt and skinny. No mask is going to do it justice. Nightbreed. That's uh, one of my favorite Barker films, for sure. He didn't direct Candyman, but that's my other favorite. Some Ouija boards. Yes, I tried doing the Ouija board thing before, but nothing happens. I don't really believe in the Ouija board. <laughs> Gotta be honest, that's that's a cool thing. Uh, it was designed like the Nightmare on Elm Street 2 bedroom. Jesse's bedroom. Oh, uh, here we go. Just cases we move in and stuff, but you can't see it very much. But lights flickering, all kinds of sounds. I love the interactive stuff. again what is the creepiest doll in a horror movie the trilogy of tear doll is up there and the clown doll from poltergeist for sure there's another shot of jesse's bedroom freddy coming out of the bed 
And then we're back in like the gift shop type area. There's Jason again. These displays are so cool. Wolfman, one of my favorite universal monsters. <laughs> now, how did they get the shot, Jason? Doesn't make much sense, but it's cool. There's Bruce from Jaws. There's baby Jason. Little kid Jason. As adult Jason. We've come full circle. Yeah, they had some cool merch. I like the green lettering on the black. And that's it. It was a really cool experience. Had a blast, so take care and stay scared.